guys, this looks like a fun one. It says evaluate one over 23 times three to the power of two minus root five, whole thing to the power of two plus root five. And if you want to try this one, pause it right now because I'm going to solve it in three, two, one. For the first step, we're going to do this to the power of this. That's going to use these notes right here. Anytime you have something like a to the b to the c, that's equal to a to the b times c. So three to the this to the that is equal to three to the this times that. So let's focus on multiplying these two terms. And to do this, we can use these notes as a shortcut. Anytime you have a minus b times a plus b, it's just a squared minus b squared. So that's exactly what we have right here, two minus root five and two plus root five. So in this case, a is equal to two and b is equal to square root of five. So this will end up being two squared minus root five squared. And then we can simplify that. Two squared is equal to four and root five squared is equal to five. And four minus five is equal to negative one. So this whole exponent simplified to negative one. And here's the next step, the whole thing's equal to negative one. Let's clean this up a little bit. Next, let's use these notes for negative exponents. n to the negative one means one over n. So the three to the negative one is gonna become one over three. And then for the last step, we're gonna multiply the fractions. One over 23 times one over three is one over 69, one over nice. This is the answer to our question. Let's put a box around it. How exciting. So all of this simplified to one over 69. And here's tomorrow's question. Which is larger, the cube root of three or the fourth root of four? We probably could just plug it into a calculator, but I wanna see if we can find it without a calculator. This will be a fun one. How exciting.